Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Tech. This is Kiran. Today's topic is about ETL with SAS, some basics and optimizations. And this topic will be entirely or most part of it will be focused on DBMS and SAS interaction aspect only. ETL with SAS is a very huge topic. I'm just trying to cover some basics and some points which are very very important in this topic i will give a brief introduction and then we will try to understand diff different categories to access dbms table then we will be discussing on bulk load utilities and fast export and then we will be talking about how to debug queries involving dbms table and also we will briefly look into processing data in DBMS table and then moving data to SAS. Here is the quick introduction. As we all know, SAS and DBMS play an important role in decision support system wherein a company can make decisions. DBMS are good in maintaining data for data warehousing wherein large amount of data can be easily processed and also can be stored very efficiently. As we all know, SAS is very powerful in doing analytics and reporting. ETL with SAS often involves moving data in both directions, that is between DBMS and SAS and vice versa. Data movement between SAS and DBMS will increase IO time. This is one important point one has to bear all the time whenever they design their ETL. Check how much movement data movement happens between SAS and DBMS and think through how you can reduce the data movement. This is one of the major key factor and I cannot emphasize enough on this. Now let us see what kind of software we need to interact with databases or DBMS. SAS access interface to a particular database is always needed to interact with database. Say for example, if you want to interact with Oracle, you need to have SAS access interface to Oracle. And if you want to interact with Teradata, you need to have SAS access interface to Teradata. To check whether you have these softwares or not, you can easily run a proc set init run. This will tell what are the license you have for your SAS, whether you have interface, SAS access interface to the particular database you are looking for. Now let us discuss different categories to access DBMS table and advantage and disadvantage with each approach. We can use the same live name statement which we use for SAS and then access Oracle table or for that matter any database. In our example, let us use Oracle. Live name for database is not very different. Only few things you need to remember is you need to give the engine of the DBMS. In this case, we are giving Oracle. And then in the case of Oracle, we need to mention user equal to password equal to path equal to and, and the information which we have to fill in here. This information will be generally given by an admin or by manager. The only thing you need to remember is you can access Oracle tables by using a libname statement. Here we are creating an oracle table by using an oracle table. So with the help of libname, we can access oracle table and also we can create an oracle table. Same thing we can do by using regular proc SQL and in here it is popularly known as implicit SQL pass through. Another way to access Oracle tables through SAS is known as explicit SQL pass through. Herein, we will be sending the queries directly to Oracle 
and the syntax which we are going to use will be of oracle compliant syntax the sql syntax should be oracle compliant sql we cannot use some of the proc sql syntaxes there but let's see how this works in here we start with proc sql and we are going to use the word connect to oracle and again we are going to give the credentials and then we are going to use the word execute and we are going to write what all the sql code we want to write this should be oracle compliant and then we will be using by oracle and then we are going to disconnect so we are connecting to oracle executing the query in oracle and then we are disconnecting from the oracle now, now let us see what are pros and cons of each method you know the lib name method is very easy for any sas programmer everything is similar everything is familiar sorry familiar syntax familiar functions and nowadays sas has become so efficient that most of the queries are automatically sent to dbms directly and by using system option like db direct exec most of the queries are sent to dbms here i have mentioned as teradata but any other dbms also the queries will be directly sent to the dbms one of the cons are or one of the issues major issues are some of the queries and some of the sas functions cannot be passed directly to dbms this generally leads to huge io processing and this results also in some inefficient query processing most of the dbmss are designed in a such a way that they can process lot of data very efficiently now let us look into pros and cons of explicit sql pass through explicit sql pass through decreases data movement and also it improves query performance and now let us look into few of the cons of explicit sql pass method one of the major problem with many people is they need to know the dbms sql say for oracle has some oracle related sql nuances some small things some functions are different so we need to know those another one is all the queries cannot be explicit sql pass through if we have a table in sas and another table in is in oracle and if you want to join them we cannot do it through explicit sql pass through the only way to do it is using a lib name statement and then joining both of them now let us try to understand what exactly happens when we use dbms tables are the queries sent to dbms if so what is happening there or if we are writing an explicit sql pass through what are the errors happening how can we understand all this to understand all this we need to set options sas trace equal to comma comma d sas trace loc equal to sas log when we create a new oracle table from older oracle table by using a data step and if we have this option set it gives something like this it says that it has done select star from tab and it is prepared on connection so basically it is trying to tell that this is the processing is happening at database level so these options are very important whenever you interact with dbms tables now let us discuss how we can move data from sas to dbms and vice versa very effectively the first part what i am going to discuss is how to move data efficiently from sas to dbms we can do a simple data step wherein we are mentioning set statement and then we are moving the data to oracle it is just a simple copy so we are moving 
a SAS dataset to Oracle. So what happens in this scenario is we are going to move data row by row. Say if you have large number of rows, it is going to take forever. Sometimes it could take 5 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours, 10 hours. But if you just mention dataset option bulk load equal to yes next to the oracle table or any database table this will be super fast what this will do is it will move multiple rows at a time this is generally the utility of dbms and loading will be very fast sometimes the loading can be like 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes under our what could take 10 hours so whenever we are moving data from SAS to DBMS and you have lot of data bulk load is a very good option to use and whenever we are trying to move from database to SAS we can use something like fast export in the live name this kind of things are not present in all databases but in Teradata this is present this again moves data pretty fastly what can take hours this can do just in very few minutes so here in the live name we mentioned fast export equal to s and as of now I know this kind of utility is there in Teradata only now there is another way which I want to discuss is we can process the data in Oracle and then create table in the SAS. So we are again connecting to Oracle and we are doing the processing in the Oracle and we are saying select from connection to Oracle create our SAS table. So we are doing the processing here in Oracle and from this connection we are moving it to SAS and this is a very 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 important point and let me explain you why here I would like to explain with a simple example I want you to remember two points in here this is a random example and I have not tested this example this is just to show how everything works I have seen in real time people doing this kind of thing and I do not have currently SAS access to Oracle so I can't test all this so again to remind you this is just an example to show the impact say here we have two queries the first one is we are using our connection to Oracle and we are processing everything in Oracle and then moving to SAS dataset. In another case, we are using live name statement and we are processing everything in SAS. Here we have 200 million records dataset in Oracle and all we want is 100,000 records table in the SAS. Say if we do something like this all the processing happens in Oracle and then only we are moving 100k records to SAS whereas in this case all the 200 million records first come to SAS and then we are doing processing in the SAS so to bring 200 million records from Oracle to SAS takes a really long time say around 10 hours but whereas if you are process processing everything in Oracle and just moving 100,000 records in SAS it just happens in a minute or two so here it is very important to process everything in database and these queries are also very similar or in fact they are same and in the whole of this discussion I've been talking either on Oracle or Teradata 
but all of these rules can be applied to almost any databases available. Let us conclude this topic. We have spoken about implicit SQL pass-through versus explicit SQL pass-through, what are pros and cons in each of them. We have also spoken on debugging options and then we have discussed briefly on bulk load utilities and also we have shown that processing in DBMS and then moving data to SAS is a good choice. One of the main takeaways from this topic is keep the data movement between DBMS and SAS as little as possible. That's all for this topic. If you feel that this topic is helpful to you, please give it a like, share and subscribe. And your like, share and subscribe would mean a lot to me. Thank you.